Hey guys, it's Kelsey. What is up? And today I am doing a Draw My Life video. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so here it is. Okay, so it all started with me. <laughs> and I was born on January 31st, 2001. I was born in Indiana. So I was born into a quite smaller family, I guess. Um, my dad's name is Brian. My mom is Janet. And at the bottom, you'll see, I'll put like what I call them, their nicknames. Um, I call my dad B. <laughs> and I call my mom Mama, usually. And then I also have an older brother named Cody. And I call him Code. We are three and a half years apart. And then there's me. And I'm Kelsey. And people usually call me Kels or Kels Marie. My dad built my mom a big dream house and it was huge and me drawing it right now doesn't give it any justice really because it was like gorgeous but anyways my dad had a huge business a lawn care business and it was really successful and we had a lot of money into it really and we got a lot of money out of it and so then one day we moved to a little city a little city for half a year and then my dad decided to sell his business and become a helicopter pilot. So we went all the way to Idaho and we moved. And at the time it took 32 hours to get to Idaho. And without stopping, I think it is roughly about 27 hours. Um, but anyways, this is the big truck that we rode in, but it really didn't look like that. But it was, it, it was a excursion, I think, Ford excursion. Um, but my dad had it like really tall and so we even had to have stairs for it But anyways, this is the back of the truck I'm trying to draw because we it was huge and we had like whole beds back there and my brother had a TV with his PlayStation and um, My dog at the time Mally she always get like cramps During it and she would yelp and it was it was funny, but then it also wasn't you know um, but yeah that is we spent <laughs> too much time in that van, that truck, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, we went to all the monuments and went from billionaires to poor people, basically. Um, not necessarily poor, but we just didn't have enough, a lot of money, actually. Um, so we moved into a three-bedroom apartment and stayed there for five years. In first grade, I met my best friend, Chloe. We had a fight over a guy named Isaac. Um, because she wanted him and I also wanted him, you know, one of those. I won. I won. I won it. I won him. And he, I remember this, he came up to me on Valentine's Day. He, like, shoved chocolates and I, I don't know what else. I think it was like a little flower thing, but he shoved it in my face and ran away. <laughs> but it was honestly cute. But then, in third grade... I met my best friend Lexi. So after that whole boyfriend fight, Chloe and I weren't really friends anymore. But I met my best friend Lexi, and Lexi happened to be Isaac's cousin. So then we decided to move back to Indiana, the little city that we lived for a year, and stayed there. I met new friends and I was really popular, I guess. Maybe, I don't really know, but I felt like it. <laughs> so in fifth grade, I had a best friend group and I got bullied by one of them and her name was Emily. So the whole group is me, uh, I think is Emily and then Caroline and then Alyssa. So Emily and I didn't really get along. Um, and so then in sixth grade, she decided to punch me because I didn't tell her what was wrong. And so she punched me twice. And so I was honestly scared. But then I was on the dance team. And then I met my first boyfriend ever. And he happened to be my first kiss as well. So this is Derek. He and I are still friends now. So that's cool. But anyways, we would always sing together because he's a singer, and I am too. 
so we would always sing together and then I also had my first kiss with him and so it was fun and yes so then we broke up and I was kind of sad but then I got bullied even more so seventh grade I got anxiety and depression and I went through a lot of messed up things really um I just didn't I wasn't myself so the whole year I had anxiety so then I met Anna and I was best friends with her and then I introduced her to my good friend Allie and then because of my luck I they both ganged up on me and they talked about me behind my back and so then I lost those friends and then I happened to meet my best friend currently Brooke So then I met a new best friend at the time, and his name is Dalton. So in 8th grade, Dalton became my boyfriend, and that was that. Then I had a new group of friends, and they bullied me. So I had a big group of friends at this point, and they were the worst friends ever. They bullied me, usually over text and also in person. And they were really rude. They even wrote me a note saying how they didn't like me anymore and like you're annoying you're not even pretty you you're such a loser and loner and all this crap and i just fell apart really i said how um, no one likes me and we aren't your friends anymore and they even took dalton against me um because they knew that that would make whatever they did worse um, so then Dalton, we broke up with Dalton and he went for one of those girls instead of me. And I was devastated at the time because all that happened. And so then I was known as the lonely girl who sat alone and I guess nobody liked her. So then in the summer of 8th grade into freshman year, I had a party with one of my good friends, Elizabeth, and I met Gideon who is my current boyfriend. So we met at that party. So anyways, then moving on to freshman year, I, it was my worst for anxiety. I dated Dalton again, and then I found a new boyfriend. I liked him and I trusted him. Then he decided to tell everyone that I had AIDS, which I don't. After that, I immediately broke up with him, which all this came into more anxiety. And then I lost my lifetime pet, Mally. I, I loved her so much and still do. Um, so that was a really hard time for me as well after all of that, including anxiety and depression. So anyways, in early April, I met Elias. Now, I met Elias when I was younger, but I guess that doesn't really matter. But there was a whole story with this fella. The relationship was great until the fifth month of dating. We dated for six months in total. He didn't hang out with me anymore. At this time, I had spent more time with his family than him. He treated me terribly throughout that time, but I won't get into it just for his sake and mine. Now, please don't go hating on him or anything, because nobody deserves that. But I went through a bad breakup, but I got through it. During us dating, I went to prom with him, and I won, I won a singing contest. After getting over all of that, I noticed how strong I was throughout all the years. I got a hold of myself. Then, unexpectedly, I met Gideon, my current boyfriend. Once again, I met him. He showed me how a girl is supposed to be treated. He would do sweet things, and I noticed that I'd never been treated like I should. Then, I went through back surgery. He was there for me when I had my back surgery. He surprised me when I got home with flowers, chocolate, and a card. I finally found myself though. My grades are finally up now and I'm back to writing songs like before all of this even happened. I'm finally happy. It's been a rough 16 years, but Kelsey, you did it. Happy birthday. And that's my life so far. <laughs>